Hey everyone, this is David from Benchmark. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to troubleshoot your radio when you're out in the field and you don't have any signal. If you don't have a fix at your rover after you've done your base and rover setup, the first thing you're going to want to check is the radio light to make sure your base is broadcasting and that your rover is receiving radio. I'll show you where that is now. On your S631, your radio light is the inside left light. If it's blinking on your rover once per second, you're getting regular radio. If it's not blinking, or blinking occasionally but not all the time, you're either not getting any signal or getting intermittent signal, which might cause you to not get a fix. On your base, you want that light always blinking to tell you that you're broadcasting. On the S321, your radio light is up here in the top left. Like the S631, you want that blinking every second on both the base and the rover. All right, so you've set up and you have no radio. The first thing you're gonna wanna check is that all your radio settings line up in Field Genius. Now, if you're just setting up your base and you get to the link configure screen, you can do that from here by making sure you have the internal radio selected and then clicking on press to set up below. Or if you've already set your rover and you wanna check those settings, you can click the wrench in the top right and then click link configuration from there. Once you've hit that press to setup button on the internal radios, you're gonna get options like radio power, for radio frequency, radio protocol, and forward error correction if you're using the 631, and I'll show you how to do that on the 321 later. You want to make sure all those settings line up and match completely, otherwise you're not going to get radio at your rover. Alright, so you've checked in Field Genius and everything lines up. The next place we're going to go is to the web UI. Now I'm going to put a video in the top corner here explaining how to connect to the web UI, but for this video we're going to assume you're already connected. Once I'm here, I'm going to click on the settings button in the top right hand corner of my screen. And that's going to bring up the settings menu, which gives me all the different options I can change on the receiver. I'm going to make sure I'm in the working mode tab of the settings menu, and I'm going to scroll pretty much all the way down to my radio setting. In here, I'm just going to double check again my frequency, my power, my radio protocol, and my forward error correction status. Now I can check forward error correction on the S321 here as well. The other thing I'm going to check is that my channel spacing lines up for the channel in question. Now, an easy way to do this is if I have on one screen Field Genius open to one of my receivers all the radio settings and on my other screen or just in another window the web UI open to the other receiver. You can see in brackets in Field Genius next to the frequency you're on your channel spacing whether that's 25 or 12 and a half or 13 as it's reported in Field Genius. You can line that up with your other receiver because if those don't line up you won't get any radio. Once all those settings line up between Field Genius and the web UI on both receivers you got the base broadcasting and you're still not getting anything at the rover, you're going to want to check your antenna. Now on the 321, you're going to want to make sure it's screwed into the right port. Uh, there's a UMTS port and a UHF port. You want to make sure it's screwed into the UHF port. On the 631, there's only the one port, so I would hope you have it screwed in there. Uh, both receivers also come with a second antenna though. The S321 with the cell antenna for the UMTS port and the 631 with the 900 megahertz radio antenna. So if you're using the 900 megahertz radio, make sure you have that antenna screwed on. And if you're using the 400 megahertz radio, make sure you have the 400 megahertz antenna screwed on. So if you're still with us and you still don't have a fix, now's the time to start checking out the status of your antennas. If you have spare antennas, grab the newest looking one and put that one on the base and take all the rest of them with the rover. That way you can do your best to isolate a broken antenna and try to get rid of it and get on your way. So if you've made it all the way through the video and you still don't have a fix, there may be darker forces at work here. So you may want to give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or you can visit us on the web at www.bench-mark.ca. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.